Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm Mayank Agarwal and we are on our day 32 of our Hello Python series. So in this video, we are going to learn about sets data structure, which are very important in Python. So let's get started. Okay, everyone. So now let us start with sets in Python. So this is actually the simple in for sets. Now sets are an ordered collection of unique elements. Okay. So duplicates are actually not allowed. Uh, sets are actually something which we have already studied. Like in our class 11th, uh, normally we are introduced with sets theory. So let me just uh, refresh that a little bit. So if you will go and see for, I would say set theory, uh, they are basically taught to us. Like uh, at that time we used to make those Venn diagrams, right? The circles of, let's say all the numbers, then we used to make that complex number allowed sort of uh, basically real numbers. So something like that is uh, what we have to, what we have already done. And on the same principle, basically sets are actually uh, made in Python. Okay. So just uh, have a quick, uh, I would say revision. So, Basically, we were used to represent them using these brackets only, curly braces only. Okay, uh, this was actually used to be the, like, I would say set. Okay, uh, the one thing which you have to understand is that they don't used to have the repeated, I would say, uh, duplicate elements. We are going to see them, should be fine. So, we used to write it like this, right? X is a even prime number. Okay, so something like that we used to basically uh, make them. And this is how we used to basically, finally, I would say, represent our sets. Now, there were different types of sets, finite, infinite, like they are not important, just I think that this will be helpful in revising everything, right? So if you remember in our, uh, I would say, school as well, we used to get, uh, get a problem, right? So let's say uh, x belongs to this n. So this n used to be all natural numbers, right? So this can also be represented by z plus. So something like this we have done. So the basic idea behind set is same only. Uh, again, you don't have to go and I would say revise all these things, uh, just to... I would say make you remember that yeah this is something which you have already done and there were many operations as well if you remember like this is a set union intersection so all these were the things which we have studied and that is what python also supports uh, because this is a fundamental i would say uh, thing in set right this is a very fundamental operation so let me just uh, go one second into to set let me make a new file here great set so yeah let us now go back to our notes and see a few of its property so sets are unordered elements, okay, unordered collection of unique elements. Okay, so this thing is very, very important to understand and that's the reason I have even underlined them. They are unordered, no order is there. Just like I would say elements or marbles in a bag. You can pick them out one by one, so they are iterable, but they are not ordered. Okay, you cannot say that, hey, always the first one is going to be red or green because they are unordered and they are unique. Like you cannot have two elements which are same. So you cannot have one and one inside set and that is the reason they are used a lot they are used a lot to remove duplicates because if you are going to provide let's say one 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 something like this it's just going to return you a single one so they are mutable but can only contain immutable objects elements so this thing is very important to understand see what happened is that what happened is that sets are mutable so let's say if you have defined this one two three okay you can add four into it you can add four into it but it will only and only I would say contain contain elements which are immutable by themselves. So which in which you cannot further add things. For example, list. It's a mutable thing, right? So you cannot add list to your set. The reason is that tomorrow you can change that list. Tomorrow you will be changing that list. And once that gets changed, uh, sets cannot actually remember that thing uh, in a single in that way. So this is going to be a very good property which you have to always remember. If you have to ever check if someone something is mutable or immutable, just add them in a set and you will be good to go. If it will be immutable, it will get added. Else we are going to see the uh, problem or we are going to see the, I would say overall uh, error. Okay. So useful for eliminating duplicate entries and set operations. So let us see that set operations, the all the operation which I showed you in the starting. So let us just, uh, let me just show you this thing once quickly everyone. So again, uh, we can make set using uh, this particular thing. So see one, two, three, four. S1 is one, two, three, four uh, with the curly brackets and your type of S1, it's set. Now, what do we mean by, let's say, a uh, thing which was like, uh, it is useful for removing duplicates. So see, if I provide, like I can create it like this as well. If I provide a list of 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, like this, something like this, let's say. Okay. So pay attention now what's going to happen. I should have made it S2. So no worries. S2. So see, S2 is just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, sorry. It is not accepting duplicates. It doesn't accept duplicate. For set, you just add a thing. Okay, and it will just hold that. It will not be basically like, okay, you have two ones, you have two twos, no. Just non-duplicate, no order is there as well. Okay, so you might be seeing that, okay, it is showing you always like this. 
uh, and maybe if I add five to this as well, okay, maybe it is just, you might be able to see that it is sorted, but order is not there that you have to remember because it's a fundamental property of sets. Okay. So let us now move forward and learn more about sets. So they are unordered. Now, one very important thing, which you will be able to make sense from unordered is that indexing and slicing both will fail. They are not, uh, I would say, of course, like if you cannot say that, Hey, I want, this is the first element. Then how can you say that I want uh, elements from first to second? Okay. Uh, duplicates are not allowed. We have already seen this. They are heterogeneous as well again. So they are heterogeneous. So you can actually add, uh, I would say, let me make as three set. So you can add multiple things into it. Or let me just make it using the curly braces only. So one Python. Hello. Okay. And if I do this, see, hello, Python one, hello, Python. Okay. So they are actually uh, heterogeneous. We have seen this already. Now cannot contain mutable objects. Okay. List set and dictionary. They are mutable objects. So what is meant by this is C. If I try to create a set, if I try to create a set, okay, using let's say uh, one, two, and if I add a list, it's going to give me an error. Let it run. See unhashable type list. Now, the reason for that is the way sets store these thing is that for everything which you're providing to it, let's say if it's an integer, if it's a tuple, if it's a string, it basically creates a hash code for that. Like it's a hash code. You can think like an identifiable key. Okay. And it stores that basically it identifies an object because of that. Now, if you are adding a mutable object into it, if you're adding a mutable object into it, then tomorrow you can change that object. So for example, list, you can add something. And in that way, the problem is that set also will have to change the hash code for that. And that's the major reason that set basically say, yeah, me, I am not going to store any mutable object. I am just going to store immutable object. And because of that set can also not contain set because sets are mutable. Like you can add things to set, right? But if I make it a tuple, which you remember from the last, I would say class that tuples are immutable. You can create it, right? Because they are immutable. So this thing is very, very important to understand. Now again, you will see that this order is now basically messed up. So like, see, order doesn't matter in set. Like this is something which you have to understand. Okay. So yeah, that is very, very important to understand. A tuple now, you cannot change this tuple, right? Because tuples are immutable. So whatever hash code has been done, that has been finalized. That doesn't get changed uh, once it is done as well. So that's the major reason because of which uh, sets doesn't support uh, mutable objects. They are unindexed. Again, makes sense. They are unindexed. Then you can be created by using these curly braces or using inside a set. So if you're adding these values inside a set, okay, they will be getting created. Now you can pass an iterable majorly yes, sequence are also iterable and they are going to return you a set as sets are unordered indexing and slicing is not possible. So that I've already shown you, uh, sorry, told you, but let us not try this as well. If I do S4 of zero, you're going to get an error set object is not subscriptable. Hey, you cannot subscribe, like not subscribe. Subscript is basically yeah, when the way you are providing this, you cannot do that. That's a problem. Similarly, if you do something like this, now I hope you understand this. This is also a problem. Okay. Because no order is there. How can I say that? Hey, I want this. Uh, let's say if there are multiple pens in a bag, which I cannot see if I get it out, it is not a guarantee, right? That every time you are going to get the same in the first, I would say position. So that is something which is, I would say similar in set. They are basically having multiple things. Okay. Multiple marbles in a same bag, but they are cannot contain duplicates. They are not indexable. They are not. Uh, I would say sliceable and that are all the things which you have to understand. Okay. Cool. So let us move forward. Everyone immutable. We cannot add or delete. That is the thing. Unchangeable is cannot change already added. Remove and addition. It's fine. So these are two things. Okay. So we can add or remove items, but cannot change them. So that is something which you have to understand. Immutable means that we cannot add or delete. Okay. In set, you can add or delete an item that is fine, but you cannot change the already added item. Okay. So, just remove an item, just add an item. That is fine. Okay. So for example, uh, maybe you will understand this with a proper example. See in my S2, I have one, two, four, five. Now I cannot say that, Hey, uh, uh, for two, change it to, let's say 10. I cannot do that. I can remove two and add 10. So that is something which I can do. Let's say they will be having an append operation or something. Okay. To add it already in this set, uh, set altogether. So we can do that, but you cannot say that, Hey, change my two to 10. So your list, they were changeable as well, right? You can refer to an index and say, Hey, change it. And you can add or delete element as well, but your set can just add or delete an element. You cannot change anything. Okay. The reason is same. If you will be changing the hash code will have, have to be changed. And that is not something which set support. Yes, you can add them and you can remove them. That is fine. I don't care for that. Okay. 
So I'm, we are going to learn and see the same, I would say, in your uh, method in functions and set as well. But yeah, I hope the understanding is clear. And again, please make sure that you understand this thing very nicely because uh, it took me a time as well to get hold of it and make sure that exactly here is where I have to explain you these things so you understand them properly. Okay. So tuple were overall unchangeable and immutable both. Okay. So sets, they are mutable. Okay. You can add or remove the item but cannot change them. So that thing is very important to understand. List, they were both. Okay, so these are all the properties. Now let us start with sets operation, like few of the operations which are supported in sets. Uh, you will be remembering them like from your school days. Uh, pretty straightforward, Matlab, we have seen, we all have seen them. So union was there. Okay, so if these used to be your set of like, I would say A and set of B. Okay, for example, if I have uh, even numbers, one, two, three, four, and let's say prime. So union is, uh, union is all the even numbers and all the prime numbers. Okay, and these are directly supported in your uh, sets basically, okay. Similarly, intersections is the common one. So a uh, intersection of prime number and even number will be just two because there is just a single even prime number. Difference is basically removing everything. Okay, so the second I remove uh, all the odd numbers from my prime numbers, I'm gonna get just two, which is a difference. And a symmetric difference is just removing whatever is the common one. Okay, so symmetric difference, I would say between your uh, let's say prime number and even number this will just remove two because that is just the common thing and everything else you're going to see the, in the same so further sets are iterable of course they are iterable they are marbles in a bag you can pick them one by one but they are not sequential so i told you in the i would say uh, in previous some video that difference between i would say iterable and a sequence so sets are basically a iterable it is not a sequence the reason you cannot basically always say that if you are going to iterate on them okay you're going to get the result in the same manner so that thing is again very important to understand. And yeah, I think these are all the properties uh, which we have to understand in sets. Now, so great everyone. Uh, I hope you have actually understood each and everything in sets. Uh, you are able to actually also, I would say, remember uh, the way you were taught the same in 11th. Uh, I think it is majorly in 11th. Now, in the next class, we are gonna learn about, I would say, functions and methods which are in sets. Uh, methods, I think you will get an idea that all these sets operation, they will actually be supported as a method. So there are lots of these methods and we are going to learn a few of them and they will be more than enough for providing anything. Uh, sets are majorly, I would say, used for duplicacy, okay, to make sure that you are able to avoid duplicate. And if you are making some, I would say, very thing which is close to your, I would say, mathematics or something you are working on research papers, then there also sets are used because they support all these properties. Okay, but overall I hope this understanding and overall idea of sets will be clear. Please make sure that you understand these properties very nicely because these are the things which you will get confused on in future. And that is something which I want that you never get confused. Okay, cool everyone. So if you are liking the way, please make sure that you like, uh, comment and share on this, uh, share this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you are able to learn all these things very nicely from me. And yeah, we will be able to, I would say, uh, just learn and upskill ourselves and transform our career. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.